News for you, awesome websites without code. Hey, what's up, musers? John with Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And the first widget within the complete video widget that we're going to go over is the full screen video. So, with this widget, you can add a full screen video in the background or above your website. So, here I'll go into Adobe Muse. I have a blank site here. Uh, all it says is full screen video at the top. So, when you first download the widget, whether you purchased individually or from the subscription, uh, you'll get a zip file and you can extract the zip file and within the folder that's extracted there's a folder called full screen video and in that folder there's a .mulib file so you can just double click on that file and it will install into the library panel within Adobe Muse. So here I'll go to the library panel here to the right and if you don't see the library panel you can go to window and click on library. Okay. So here I'll go to the library panel here to the right and in the search I'll type in CVW because that's the abbreviation for the complete video widget uh, so it makes it really easy to find it within the library panel. And here we have the three different widgets. We have the complete video widget full screen, the video banner and the video player. So I'll go ahead and click on the full screen and I'll click hold and drag and place into Adobe Muse just like that. Okay, and I'll go ahead and open the widget options. So here in the first section, we have the video section. So here we can upload the video. Most browsers support .mp4 video. So in most cases, you'll just have to upload a .mp4 video file. You can add a .webm file for fallback support on browsers that don't support .mp4. Uh, but again, most browsers support .mp4 video file. Uh, so in most cases, you'll just have to upload the mp4 file here. Uh, you do want to upload a poster image. So on devices that require user input to play video, a poster image will show instead. You can add a play button at a specific breakpoint so that on those devices that require user input and the user can still view the video by pressing the play button. So I'll go ahead and add an mp4 video file. So I'll click on add file. And here I have a few video files. So I'll select this one here. And I also want to add a poster image. So I'll click add file and I'll add the poster image for the video. So I'll go ahead and preview in the browser by going to file and preview page in browser. Okay, and just like that, we have full screen video on our website and we can scroll down and the website is below the video. So if you did want the video to be fixed within the background, you could go into the widget and here we have the option that says fixed in browser. So I'll just click there, make sure it's checked. And now when I preview, we have the full screen video at the top and the video is behind. So I can add more scroll space to the site by grabbing this tab here and dragging down to add more height to the page. And if I preview in the browser, I can scroll and that video will stay fixed in the background. You could pin elements to the top as well. So I could go back into the widget and uncheck fixed in browser. And then I could pin these elements up here by selecting them and I'll zoom in a bit. And then with the pinning options in the upper toolbar within Adobe Muse, I could pin the element to the top. And even though the video is not fixed in the background, this element will still appear at the top because it's fixed within the browser. So I'll go ahead and go to file preview page and browser. And we can see the element is fixed and I can scroll and the website will scroll. That's just another way to have elements above the video. But again, if you did want the, the video to not move within the background, just select fixed in browser and the video will stay behind and elements will scroll over the video. Just like that, looks good. Okay, so I'll go over a few of the other widget options. So we have overlay, so you can add a color overlay or a mesh overlay over the video. So if I click on enable color overlay and I preview, we see we now have this color over the video. You can set the opacity for the color. So if I go back into the overlay option, I can set the opacity to higher so it's more uh, visible. So if I s say something like 0.8, we're gonna see that the background video isn't as visible and that blue is more visible. Okay, so you just wanna select a value from zero to one for the overlay, uh, yeah, for the overlay opacity. I'll set it back to 0.2. So let's say you want a mesh overlay, you can just select enable mesh overlay. 
And then right down here is a website called patternify.com. You can just click there and it'll open this website here. Uh, you can create your own mesh or your own pattern. Uh, here there's a few presets right down here. So I'll select this one. And then you just want to copy this base64 code. So I'll click here. I'll hit Command C to copy. Go back into Muse. Go into the overlay section and just paste that code here where it says replace with base64 data from patternify.com. So here I'll just hit Command V to paste. And I'll go ahead and preview in the browser. And there we have the mesh overlay. Uh, it might look a bit different because it's I'm recording the video within a video, uh, but it does have a nice mesh overlay over the video. Looks good. All right, so I'll go over a few other widget options. Uh, also within the overlay, you can add an image for the mesh overlay. So if you had a specific pattern, you could add the image uh, here for the mesh as well, uh, instead of the base64 code. Okay. So the next section is options. So we have a few options here. Uh, we can autoplay the video. I would recommend having this checked if it's a full screen video, because if autoplay isn't selected, the video won't play on a desktop or laptop and it will require a play button to play. Uh, you can loop the video. I would recommend this as well for background video. Uh, you can mute the audio. I'd recommend this as well. Uh, Safari recently came out with an update that if uh, a video has audio, it won't autoplay the video unless there's a play button. So having the audio muted is a good option here for Safari. Uh, and, most, and in most cases, when you have a background video, you won't usually have audio as well. Uh, you can preload the, the video. So I do recommend having this checked because with background video, you do want it to load with the website. So the video kicks in right away. And then play in line on tablet and mobile. Uh, this is a useful feature so that if you do have a play button on tablet and mobile devices, the video won't go into full screen mode on that device. It'll just play right on the page within the, the device. Uh, so you can have that checked there unless you did want the video to go into full screen mode on the device. In that case, the user would have to click the close button to go back to the web page. Okay, so there we have the options. So then we have the play button. So this is useful if you want users to be able to view the video on devices that require user input. Um, if you do want a video player, I'd recommend the video player widget within the complete video widget. Uh, as in most cases, when you're on a device, you won't need the user to view the video. On devices that require user input, a poster image will show instead. So it'll just be an image, which I highly recommend uh, for mobile because in most cases, users are not gonna sit there to watch a background video. Uh, you can also disable it at a specific breakpoint and then change the layout on tablet and mobile devices without a background video. And I'll go ahead and showcase that on my iPhone 8 Plus. I have the website here and here we can see we have a play button. So if I click the play button, the video will start playing in the background. So you do have the option of the user being able to view the video on, t on devices that require user input by adding a play button. So I'll go ahead and do that here. So here we can see it says uh, select the play button image. So I'll click add file. All right. And within the widget folder, there's a folder called play and pause buttons that has two icons that you can use for your play and pause buttons. You can also use any custom icons that you'd like, uh, but I'll go ahead and use these ones here. So I'll double click on the play button. And then for the play button width, I'll leave it 100 and then I can select a pause button image. So I'll click add file and I'll select the pause button. And I can also set the pause button width. Uh, to make it larger or smaller. Um, I can set the position from the top uh, by setting the percentage here. So here it would be 50% from the top. And then here it says display when breakpoint is less than uh, a certain uh, amount here. So if it's left at zero, the play button, the play and pause button will never appear and the poster image will just show. So here's where you wanna set the, the breakpoint. So if I were to set something like 768 for tablet and mobile, and I go ahead and preview, we're gonna notice when I resize the browser to 768, the play button appears. So because the video is already playing on a desktop, it's not going to pause or play the video. But if I would refresh, once I load within a 768 width breakpoint or less, now the video is not playing. And if I click the play button, it'll play. And if I pause, it'll pause. Okay, so that's how you add a play button at a specific breakpoint. Um, if you leave it at zero, then the poster image will just show and no play button will appear. So the user won't be able to view it on tablet and mobile devices. So I'll go ahead and set it to zero. Uh, in my case, I would just have the poster image show uh, because if it is just a background video, I don't mind the user just seeing an image on those devices. So let's say you did want to disable the full, the full screen background video at a specific breakpoint. 
we have the breakpoint section here and here you can click on disable at breakpoint and you can disable it at a specific breakpoint. So again, if I wanted to disable it for tablet and mobile, I'll just enter the breakpoint value in here. And if I preview, and we can see I'm at the 768 breakpoint. Once I get past the 768, the video appears. But it, once I go to the 768 breakpoint, and here I'll just showcase the, uh, the window resizer. So here we're getting close to the 768. Once we get to 768, the video is not visible, and I can go ahead and change the layout for tablet and mobile devices. Okay, so that's the full screen video. I'll go ahead and add breakpoints just to showcase that it works really well across breakpoints as well. So just add that there, move things around a bit. And perfect. So I'll go ahead and preview, and I'll uncheck disable at breakpoint, and I'll go ahead and preview. And when I resize, we can see that it works well across all breakpoints. All right, so that is the full screen video within the complete video widget. And the complete video widget can be found at museforyoushop.com. And here you can click subscribe today. And here you can click subscribe now to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. The complete video widget is right here. And again, here you can click add to cart to purchase individually. Or again, you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and templates that I come out with for 39 a year. All right, here's the widget page. It details everything about the widget and the community section if you had any questions about the widget. And this video will be here as well. All right, so the next uh, widget within the complete video widget that I'm gonna go over is the video banner. Uh, so that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. If you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you. News for you, awesome websites without code.